And off they come off the corner side by side. And I've got to wonder if Dale didn't lift right there because Joe got himself squared away. It looked like he you know, got into him and says, man, let's regroup to this thing over again. But yep. they definitely got together getting in that corner. But Nemechek's car hadn't been that high all day. He was out a little bit further than he'd been all day long. And look at Nemechek. Right back on the outside. With the motor. Good little racer coming right here, I'm telling you. Their nose to tail, nip and tuck again. Well, in track and field, they call this the bell lap. They ring the bell at one lap to go. And that's the dinner bell. Here they come. Earnhardt back on the inside. White flags out. This is the last lap. That would have been a dead heat. Would have been a, now right here before Nemechek was able to get away from him, pull him down this back straightaway. See if he can do it again. Back straightaway. Earnhardt pulls away. Nemechek's going to be right with him entering turn three. It's going to be right to the wire. I'm telling you. Nemechek up high, Earnhardt down lower, he's been strong, scoots away. Now, does Nemechek have the power and can he get it down? Off of this corner is where Nemechek's really made a run. Here he comes to the wire, he's going to beat him to the line. He's going to win it. Joe Nemechek <laughs> picks up the victory, win two, and for fourth place behind Todd Bodine, Jeff Gordon holds off Kenny Schrader and Bobby Labonte. Well, not only does Joe Nemechek just win a terrific race, but, Neil, I, I gained a lot of respect for Dale Earnhardt right there. When those two cars got together, Earnhardt probably could have mashed the gas and driven off. He gave Nemechek a chance to get himself squared away. They were side-by-side side down the straightaway and then settled it in the last two laps. That's the mark of a champion right there. We'll be right back. Coming to the white flag, and here's the spin that caused things. You had Sadler 21, Hutch in that white and blue car, and Terry Labonte in the five. You can see that... Uh... Elliot Sadler got in the back of Hutt Strickland just a little bit. He made contact in the five car of Terry Labonte. That set it off. Well, the last time two consecutive races were won by first time winners. We mentioned it earlier. 1970. Pete Hamilton won Daytona. James Hilton won Richmond. Terry Labonte not at all pleased. He'll take the walk to the ambulance and the ride to the care center. But you can just imagine the yelling and screaming going on where Martha and Joe Nemechek are right now. Their son leading 72 laps and route to the victory here in New Hampshire. You know, you can win, win, and win, but that first one you never forget. Joe is the 11th winner of the year. The ninth Chevy win in 26 events. Joe Nemechek is a first-time winner in NASCAR Winston Cup racing. Ralph, how about it? Well, I'm down here with Jay Smith. Tony Glover just said over the radio, Jay, that to Joe, I want you to do whatever you want to do to this race car. If you want to blow it up, smoke it up, whatever, enjoy this moment. What would you suggest? I guess we'll just have to see what he does. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe do a little advertising for Bell South here. Yeah. Probably be spectacular, I'd say. The first one uh, is always memorable for everybody. Neil, I don't think he's anything else. Everybody going by, waving, congratulating. Look at Dale Earnhardt waving. <laughs> I just run into it. Yeah, and he probably bumped him also. Uh, boy, Joe. That's the rite of passage when you get bumped on the victory lap by Dale Earnhardt.